calling all intercessors. Please listen. Please listen. There is a group in the in the body of Christ that we often oversee. Like we don't um, pay attention to these people. And Matthew chapter twenty five captures them. Right? It says, "When I was imprisoned, you did not visit me. Now I am aware." That majority of us cannot go to the prisons to visit them. I understand that. I get that. Okay. But as intercessors, we can pray for them. Now, we are fasting this week, right? That is a homework for this week. We're fasting for three days. But as you fast and you meditate on the word of God, please pray, intercede for the people who are falsely imprisoned and rightfully imprisoned, right? Pray for them that God encounters them. Now, if you don't know how to approach that particular group of people, I recommend that you first repent for yourself, right? Confess all your sins according to 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 and ask God to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Then approach boldly the throne of grace and mercy, which you can use um, 1 John. No, you can use Hebrews 4.16. Let me read that to you. Hebrews 4.16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. So you are praying that, Lord, I am here at your throne of grace to obtain mercy and stand in the gap. You are standing in the gap for the imprisoned population in whatever country you're in. Whatever country you're in, intercede for that population and you say, Lord, I'm interceding. I am setting the gap for them. I repent for their sins. I repent for their sins. I confess their sins. Whatever they did or did not do, whatever it may be, Lord, I confess their sins. I ask that you forgive them and wash them with the precious blood of Jesus. I pray that you have mercy and that you reveal yourself to them. You want God to visit them in their cells. You want Jesus Christ to encounter them in their time of need. Jesus Christ, please reveal your goodness to them. Reveal your mercy to them. Reveal your kindness to them. Why? It is the kindness of God. It is the goodness of God that leads to repentance. But they are imprisoned. So how would they hear the gospel? How would they hear the gospel? Holy Spirit reminded me of a person one time. I was in a live one time and somebody came on asking for prayer and this person was in prison. And I said, you're in prison right now. And they said, I'm coming out soon. So he's, he's brought that conversation back to me that they too need intercession. They too need our prayers. So please, if this week you're fasting with me and you don't have any group to pray for, you don't have any needs or wants to pray for, please intercede on their behalf. Ask God to forgive you. Approach the throne of grace boldly, right? He is your heavenly father, but he is also a righteous judge. Ask him to have mercy that you are standing in the gap for the population that are rightfully accused or wrongfully accused that are imprisoned in your country. Ask him to encounter them powerfully in their cells encounter them literally an encounter like paul had a radical encounter on his way to damascus and he changed his ways you are asking for that encounter you are asking for that type of an encounter for them amen god bless you i pray that as you sow the seeds of intercession for the population that can never repay you or can never see you or see who prayed for them i pray that as you sow the seeds of intercession on their behalf that god remembers you your children and your children's children forevermore amen <laughs>